Thank you for tuning in. In this video, I want to revisit Open Drone Map. It's probably been about a year since I've shared any information on that. And before I do, I want to uh, demonstrate the process that I used to acquire this imagery. We've been working on some mapping lessons with drone blocks that demonstrate how to calculate uh, your forward overlap, your side overlap, as well as your GSD to create a mapping mission using drone blocks code. So let's just go ahead and take a quick preview of the mission. You can see this is the high school stadium near where I live. And these are the waypoints and photos that are taken at each location. Now, if you're using drone blocks, one drawback right now is that at each waypoint, the aircraft will have to stop. In this case, I'm using the Phantom 4, so it stops, takes the photos, and continues. But this is a great uh, lesson that we've been doing with students just to demonstrate how mapping works Sometimes it's good to understand what's going on underneath the hood. I can make a simple change from four to six, and then we can see the number of flight paths update, which is a nice feature. And from this mission with my Phantom 4, I was able to acquire these images of the football stadium, and you can see the various images here. And let me first just demonstrate the output of the default settings from Open Drone Map, the latest version uh, as of October 2018. I didn't have to do any configuration changes and was able to run these directly. Open Drone Map picked up the EXIF information and was able to stitch these and geo-reference them. So now I want to walk through just the basic steps to achieve this. Let me start off by making sure that you are aware of the GitHub page for Open Drone Map. This code is open source and been following the project closely. There have been a lot of changes, a lot of great work being done, and I'm going to demonstrate how to run this through a Docker container. If you're not familiar with Docker, you can download it for free. There's a community edition, and I believe now you have to log in and you can download it for Mac. Windows and Linux. So in my case, I'm running it for Mac. See some of the options here, but the most important thing is we're going to run it from the command line. If we look at the open drone map documentation, shows that we can run ODM through Docker. And what will happen when we run this command is it will download a pre-built image. I think it's Ubuntu, which is a Linux image, and have the latest open drone map code installed. And from that, it can process the images on our local machine. I have the images in a folder called images. And when we run this command, it will process those images as well as create outputs for ODM orthophoto and ODM texturing in the same directory. I'm at my Mac terminal. Let me just change into the directory where I have the images installed. I can see them here and see if I run Docker. It gives us a bunch of commands, so Docker is running fine. I will also put a link to these images in the description below if you want to just download them and run a test. And then you can obviously get out to the field, acquire your own images, and run them through ODM. So here we have the command from the Open Drone Mat documentation. I'll go ahead and run it, you can see that it's looking for Open Drone Map locally, which I don't currently have it installed. So it's gonna take a while to download. It'll download the entire image, which I think is roughly three gigabytes, and then begin the processing. The Open Drone Map process is finished. After pulling the image, the code was run, and in this step, the photos were loaded, EXIF information was extracted, latitude, longitude, dimensions of the photo, all of that bunch of processing, lots of stuff that's way over my head. And that's the beauty of being able to use Open Drone Map. A lot of guys much smarter than myself have spent a lot of time to make this process simple. Uh, we get to the end here. GDAL tools are run. The ortho photo is created. I'll take a look at the folder output. ODM ortho photo folder is created, ODM texturing. And let me open this orthophoto.tiff file. Looks good. There are definitely some artifacts that didn't render very well, but those are things that can be tweaked in the output. And I'll be sharing more information on how to do that 
in an upcoming video. What I'd like to do now is let's do a couple things. Let's start off by bringing this into QGIS. I'll go ahead and add a web layer. I'll use the Bing arrow with labels. For some reason, Google Maps in my version of QGIS causes all sorts of problems. I'm going to use Bing instead. Then I'm going to open our ODM Orthophoto TIFF file in QGIS. I'll right click it, zoom to layer, and hopefully we can see it Yep, in the context of the base map, which is the Bing aerial. Let me just turn that off. Let's zoom in just a little bit. Pan around. And let me, actually I'm zoomed in so far that uh, there's not map tiles for the Bing aerial at that level. So I'll zoom out maybe once or twice. So as you guys know, the beauty of having this aerial imagery is you can get much higher resolution maps with your drone imagery. Looks pretty close in terms of geo-referencing. Now, if I were to use ground control points, obviously that would turn out a lot better. But from first go, with this new version, I'm really impressed. In the past, it's taken a lot of work just to get to this point. And one last thing that I'd like to cover is that there is a texturing folder with a 3D model and different images that can be loaded. And what I've gone ahead and done is just taken that and uploaded it into Sketchfab. This is the results of the image that I just showed in QGIS, but using the uh, textured object file. The results are pretty impressive. I mean, this is not by any means survey grade, but for marketing purposes or just to perhaps track the progress of some sort of development construction site. And that was an overview of acquiring imagery with drone blocks. Now keep in mind, that could be any sort of third party app that will allow you to plan your mission and acquire images. Those images then were run through Open Drone Map. We loaded them into QGIS to view our ortho photo in a web format. And then finally, we viewed the textured model in Sketchfab. Wanted to share that brief workflow. There's a lot that can be improved and the tools are getting better over time. I'm going to share all of the links to these resources below. If you guys have any questions or comments, please post them below. And until next time, thanks for watching.